Hello. As part of DevWeb's API testing enhancement feature of 2020 SP3 release, we now have the MPI testing functionality supported in Vuejin. In this session, I will walk you through the new Vuejin DevWeb integration regarding the feature and the API testing flows. For the example, I will use a simple pet shop API. The first flow I will show you is importing the API file a JSON file that specifies the API calls. Currently, we support Swagger JSON only. In Virgin's main menu, click Record. You will see the Import API file. Click it. In the Import API file dialog, you can enter the desired JSON API file path or browse for its location. After doing so, click Import. That triggers the offline generator in Swagger mode, and it will only generate the Swagger API JS, the file with the generated API functions. A copy of the API JSON file can be found in the scripts folder under Cogen as Cogen JSON. You can now notice two things. A, the Swagger API JS was created and can be viewed in the Solution Explorer under Extra Files. Clicking it will show its content in Vuejin. You can see all the generated API functions. The second thing is this line of code in the main.js. This line of code allows the user to use the API functions in his script. So from this moment, one can start working on his script and call API functions from Swagger API JS. The second flow is generating a script with API function calls based on a HAR file. Select the record button in Vuejin toolbar. The record dialog appears. Make sure the selected recording mode is Capture Traffic File Analysis and enter the R file path or browse for its location. It's the same as the import API file. After you've selected proper HAR, you will notice that a checkbox appear, Generate with API Analysis. Click Start Recording, and that will trigger the offline generator in Swagger mode with the additional HAR argument, which will generate the script with the function calls inside. As you can see, we have steps created. And now we will look in the main JS. And yes, we can see the function calls add pet and delete pet. The last flow I will show you is an entire end to end flow from recording a Swagger UI page with a proxy recorder to a generated script with a proper function calls inside. For this recording, I have my corporate proxy configured in the recording options. As before, I will open the recording dialog. But this time, I will set the recording mode to Web Browser via Dever Proxy. I will use Chrome Browser because I like it better than the other browsers. And now I will enter the URL to the Swagger UI page. Make sure the Generate with API Analysis is checked. Start recording. Now that the UI page is up, I need to authenticate myself so I can use the API calls. Now I can use the API calls. I will record a simple flow, add pet, find pet, delete pet. We will add a dog. And we can see the response 200 OK. Now we will find it by the ID we gave it. Here is the dog we added. Same response as before. 
and now we'll delete the path. The path is deleted. Now we'll stop the recording. We can see we have generated steps, and now we'll look for the the function calls we chose. And down here we can see here is the add path, here's the get path by ID, and the delete path. Well, all that's left is running the script. I made sure the proxy is configured in the runtime settings so as they ignore bad certificates. Now let's replay. And as you can see, the script passes. And that's it.